Thank you so much. Uh, uh, just to all our Kix EMAP uh, community colleagues online and the broader GP Kix community, um, if you've just joined us, that was a panel discussion from our principals and provincial administrators uh, discussing some of the data challenges and, and use cases from, from um, a school level. So in the, because of time, I'd like to suggest that we break now for lunch. We are a little bit uh, behind. And I would also like to suggest that we come back at local time to 20 past 2 o'clock. 20 past 2 o'clock. So we'll really try and uh, usher you back uh, from lunch for those in the room. Where you will find lunch, if you just turn your heads towards the back of the room, we will open up the doors and the lunch room will be open. Um, and for, for our colleagues from, from overseas, we will take our lunch from the buffet and we'll bring it back and eat inside the, the room here. So everyone online will be back in around about 45 minutes. We'll keep you uh, updated in the chat. And for everyone in the room, please enjoy your lunch by going to the back of the room. And we'll see you at 2.20. Thank you, everyone. everyone welcome back from lunch to everyone in the room and hello again to everyone online with the kicks emap community i hope you all enjoyed your lunch uh, thank you very much for some really really lovely flavors um, we are now moving back into our country presentations very very excited to have the ministry of basic and secondary education from the gambia with us here today we have uh, Mr. Halifa Faye, who is, um, uh, works in the EMIS unit in, in Mobsi, the Gambia. And I think what's really fascinating after lunch for us to consider, we've seen a lot about EMIS systems more broadly and talking about data information management uh, collection and use. But the Gambia has moved into some new use cases in addition to this. And one has been quite a long and interesting journey around student and teacher attendance, monitoring and reporting, but not from a punitive me measure, much more from almost like an early warning factor so that we can make sure that we watch our, our children and youth and if we can intervene if necessary. So I'll leave it to Mr. Halifa Fay to come join us up on the stage and share a little bit more with us about uh, the monitoring and reporting journey of attendance taking in the Gambia. So please join me in welcoming. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am Halifa Fai from the uh, Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, the Gambia. So I will be taking you, you through, through the attendance uh, journey. Um, that is from where we start and um, where we are now. So as you can see on the screen here, we have monitoring and reporting attendance journey. So the use case, that is the daily attendance that we have in the Gambia. So this is an overview of uh, what I will go through. So as you can see um, on the history of the daily attendance, we have um, phase one, two, and three. And then we are in the final, the current phase, which is phase four, where we uh, introduced the uh, DHIS2 uh, to use the attendance. So here, what is daily attendance? So it is mostly focused on the teachers because uh, you collect more data, that is aggregate data on the teachers. So here, we collect, uh, it is collected daily by the different level of education that we have, that is from low, lower basic education, upper basic education, and then senior secondary education. And then you have, uh, it is corrected daily and by shift. So by shift here is uh, morning and afternoon. So you collect for teachers that are coming in the morning and then for teachers that are coming in the afternoon, the same for students as well. So the attendance here focus more on the teachers because we have more on teachers records. So that is the uh, teachers present on time, and then you have the teacher absenteeism, that is uh, teachers that are absent with permission and without permission. And then you have um, teacher punctuality. So here, when we talk about teacher punctuality, we are saying teachers that are late before and after 30 minutes. So mainly the focus is on the teachers. So for the students, you have the, the number of teachers, the number of students that are present, and then the number of students that are absent. 
So the history and then the timeline. So for the first phase, it started before 2020, before 2012. So it was manual, that is paper-based. Uh, uh, in the next slide, you will see more detailed explanation of how uh, this uh, timeline goes. So the second phase between uh, 2012 to 2019, so there we uh, migrated from the paper-based to a more advanced, that is the uh, voice-based approach and later to the SMS, but in the uh, uh, later slides you will see everything. So the third phase is between 2019 to 2021, that is the introduction of DHIS2 in education in the Gambia. So there we have the first uh, Android application that was built uh, for the daily attendance. And then onwards and current attendance here, that is from 2022 to onwards, so there was an improved version of the daily attendance. So the first phase, as you can see, here the teacher, the head teacher, collects the data and then analyzes it uh, by him or herself, so which is given to the cluster monitors, who also collect the aggregate data from the um, cluster, and then move it down to the um, regional education directorate, which is uh, the one responsible for the regional matters of education. So here we have the aggregation at a regional level, and it is analyzed. So here, yes, it was working fine, yeah, but we have um, some limitations and they are here. The schools will only have the analytics after the term, that is three months after. So then you, that, 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 that's a limitation and then you have, there was no feedback from the, from the cluster monitors to the head teacher or from the regional office to the cluster monitor and down to the head teachers. So then you have uh, the resources that was uh, uh, included there, it was too much because you have to have fuel for the cluster monitors to and fro to the schools and then from uh, to the regional education directorate. And there was so much duplication of efforts because the teacher has to analyze and then the regional office also will have to analyze the same data that was collected from the school. So the second phase here, that there we migrated from the paper base now to the uh, telephone. So here it was just a phone call at first where the head teacher will sit uh, in his or her office, then call to the regional education directorate. Yeah, so the head teacher will make the call and then the call will be, uh, the, the numbers that were given by the head teachers will be written. So sometimes you have um, a misinterpretation uh, of the data because uh, what they are using network. So you can have misinterpretation of the data. So and then the data will be clean and analyzed and then to the regional directorate. So here, the system was much quicker, but also there was gap. So the removal of the uh, middleman also. So because uh, now we have removed the cluster monitor and then we go, we use the phone. So using the phone also, um, the middleman was removed and then the quality of data also was very bad, was very poor because you will have to call through the network and then sometimes the network can break and then you can record a wrong thing for that school. The ownership also was lost because it was through phone and then still there is no feedback from uh, the attendance data that was collected. Then you come to the third phase. Here we have the first version of the daily attendance from the DHIS2. So here the teacher, the head teacher will enter data through an application using the DHIS2 so it's a mobile application. So at first, you needed internet. So here, at first, once you install the app, you will need internet to uh, sync the data and then start sending the attendance data. So but uh, the, this one, since internet was needed, so some of the uh, remote schools in the remote areas, so we are unable to send attendance due to uh, the internet that was involved. So then you have the last, uh, the current phase that we are in here. So we have developed on the previous application. So here we have, uh, this one is totally offline. So once you uh, install the app, you don't need any internet. You just have to enter the app, uh, register your school, and then start sending the data. So it's free of charge, offline, and it has also an inbuilt analytics. So once you uh, have the data on your phone, you can analyze the data based on the different options that you have, that is daily, monthly, timely, or quarterly. So um, 
So this is a future on the app. So as you can see, we have um, history. So this is the history of the app. Um, as you can see, the different uh, formats of the text. Uh, you have ATT slash PM. So PM here means uh, this one has been sent in for the afternoon. And the AM, it means that it has been sent in for the morning. And then you have the LBE, which is the, the level of education that uh, the person is sending the attendance to. And then you have uh, the other part, which is the statistics part, that is the uh, analyzing of the data. So as you can see, daily attendance, morning LBE. So and then you have uh, the selected periods, that is the related periods here. We have daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. So if you want a daily analytics of the data that you have sent, you, you can have it uh, weekly, monthly, or quarterly. So the, this is the inbuilt uh, Inbuilt analytics uh, that is on the mobile application. So as you can see, once you send, this is what you will get. So based on this color coded, so you can see um, the information down there as blue uh, represent teachers present on time, absent with permission, absent without permission, late after 30, late before 30 minutes, and then the female teachers present. And then you have the one on top. As you can see, you will have the school name and then the report uh, generated on. That is the day that you have choose to generate the report on. So as you can see, staff present, it will give you the percentages of the staff present, absent with permission, absent without permission, students present, and then student absent. So um, this is the process that it goes through. So as you can see on the different pictures, so the first one here, this is the uh, logs, the book that is used at school level for the different shift. So once you have it, then you can record the data. So based on this, so as you can see, the classroom teacher there is collecting the information for students. That is the, teacher, the number of students that are present and absent at the school. So then you have this uh, that lady there. So she is the one responsible for giving the overall number of the number of teachers present, number of teachers present on time, and the same for students and then, yeah. So here, he, she is also telling the, the attendance for teachers. And then you have that book. So on that book, this is the book that uh, it's here. So this is the content of the book. So here you have the, exactly these, these uh, fields are exactly on the mobile application. So once you collect the information, then here, the, head, the deputy head teacher, and then the person responsible for sending the data are uh, also working together in order to send the data. So this data is not just sent uh, for the ministry to make decision on, but also for um, the region and then the school authorities to make decision on. So you have these um, logs that we have. So here, well, once a school send the data, so this is the first step of monitoring. So you need to come here and then confirm that uh, the data that the school are saying that they have sent uh, you have received it. So once it is received here, so you have options here. As you can see, you will have the phone number, the gateway that was used, uh, the SMS text, so the format, because we have different uh, applications, different versions of the application, so we have uh, different formats. So we have the new format and then the old format. So if you are using the current uh, application, then the format will be always new. And then you have the school that is sending the data, then you have the uh, SIM card type. So because with the new application, before we had the CUG, that is the closed user group that was used to send the data. So the limitation was it was only accessible with the CUG. But with this new application now, any um, line, that is um, the QCell, that is the ISP that uh, we are using, so can send the data without um, any charges. Then you have the import summary of the data. So the data is imported uploaded so those are the import summary and then the day that the data was sent so then you have the analytics dashboard so on the analytics dashboard here yes you can see the teachers present on time that is yesterday as you can see the different analytics dashboard so once you confirm the data then here is the analytics part of that data that was sent Yeah, so um, here should be the monitoring dashboard. As you can see here, we have the completion rate, that is the reporting rate of schools. 
So uh, with, uh, if you are on the national level, you will only be seeing uh, the regional level data. But if you are on the region, you will be seeing the um, school cluster and, and school level data. So as you can see, with the color, with the color coded, so red means uh, very bad, then you have green, yellow for average, and then you have green for excellent. So ownership and support, so because here, we want uh, the region to have ownership on this attendance data because mostly attendance data is on the region and then the school. So we, uh, there are, we are group charts created for all the regions and then we have head teachers, they in their regional uh, data of persons at school level and then you have regional staffs as well, that is the cluster monitors, the planning focal points, the regional IT officers and then the regional, even regional directors are in those groups. So here we help in troubleshooting and then also give information about the data that they are sending. Because uh, for example, in a region, every week they will send their analytics for all the schools in, those, in, the, in the different clusters that we have. Yes, and then we have also some AMI staff um, at the, in this uh, group so that we can help troubleshoot in um, the system and then to keep, the mo keep moving with the system. Uh, thank you. much, Lifa, for that. I think it's super exciting also to see the reiteration. We start, we grow, we learn, we change. So part of that growth and change has been um, some support from HISP-WCA, which stands for West and Central Africa. So Jerry Aziawa, please join us on the stage. Um, Jerry is going to give a demonstration. Um, of some of the dashboards so that we can see a little bit more of the practical side of, of what Halifa has been sharing with us. Thanks, Jerry. We need to remove this computer.